but I'm sorry, I have to give you another one. We have males too. This female is a bit, is a really strong character from a game called Overwatch. She's a tank. Please welcome on stage Brigitte, an old kid from Overwatch. I like the hammer. How is the hammer made? Uh, the hammer has a base of a 3D print and then aided with EVA foam to get the form I wanted. So EVA foam and a 3D print. Multiple elements in one piece. Nicely done, nicely um, fitted them together. You also have shield. Can you show us your shield a bit more? Really nice shield. What's the base of the shield? Uh, the base is just an acrylic plate that I uh, added foam to. You added foam to an acrylic plate that is really smartly done. How did you attach? I think it's really difficult to attach foam to an acrylic plate. Did you deem something special to attach? Uh, I used 5-minute uh, and 10-minute epoxy for it. So, to all the cos players that need to have a trick uh, to uh, attach foam to the acrylic, you use epoxy. Uh, what's the costume made of? Uh, it's mostly foam, so EVA foam. Mostly EVA foam, some 3D prints, some fabrics, there's a whole lot of stuff in there. It looks really, really nice. I'm sure you could get a pentacle with this, or maybe even more. You could kill us all, but not that really. Thank you very much for your costume. Give her a big applause for Fanlight costume. Uh, cosplay, Brigitte, an old skin version from Overwatch. Thank you very much. Our next contestant is a bit of a small, small, small rival for me. It's not really rival, but she can... Uh, I think she could defeat me. You know what are the strongest enemies that are the women on their period? I'm not stating that the cosplayer is on this period, no. But the name of the skin might suggest that the character might be of a period. Uh, please welcome Blood Moon Diana from League of Legends. Legends never die when the world is calling you. I'm screaming out your life Legends never die They become beautiful So, can you tell us your cosplay name for everyone? Uh, Omoraki-sama Omoraki-sama, thank you I love your balls How did you make your balls? They're uh, Christmas ornaments, but uh, plastic ones, and I sanded them and then I uh, used acrylic paint and PVC tape for uh, the actual markings of it. They look really nice. So, everyone has uh, stored away his Christmas tree. You know what you can do with your balls. You can make something really nice of it. Looks very beautiful. Uh, I also maybe show your tattoo to the people. Your tattoo is really beautiful. It's nicely done. I need to ask, sorry, but how, what's your tattoo from, how did you make it? Um, it's a tattoo paper, so you just draw out whatever shape you need, or you use uh, existing patterns, and you print it out using an ink gel printer, and then attach it just like your know, gel tattoos. Well, so, if you have a printer at home, you can make your own tattoos, that's so nice. Like we did in our days when we were younger, with the tattoos in our uh, conflict boxes. Your claws are something that 
that really gets the attention. Uh, they look really nicely done. How did you make those? They're made out of tibra, so you just, uh, it's a bit like war blood, it's a term of plastic, you beat them together, and then I paint them using the acrylic paint, and you would glue them to get like a shiny effect. Thank you. So, thermal plastics from glass and uh, some paints. What other paint? Did you only use that kind of paint, or did you use other paints as well? No, I used a lot of different ones. For all the gold, I used rub and buff, which is really nice for getting metallic paints. And then I use some acrylic paints and spray on paints and all the paints for shaping. Nice, very nice to done. Give her a big applause for Blondwin Diana from League of Legends.